This tutorial is about function overloading in C++. What is function overloading? C++ allows the specification of more than one function with the same name in the same scope. That means it is possible to define multiple functions with the same name in the same scope. Function overloading is otherwise called as function polymorphism. So how this function overloading can be done? While defining more than one functions with the same name, the function overloading can be implemented in two ways. Number one, either by changing the number of arguments that are used in the function and the second one is by having different types of arguments in the function. So here in this example we could see we are having three prototype declaration with the same name sum but the number of arguments and the type of arguments is different. In the first de declaration the sum is using two variables of integer data type and the second one is using two float data types. So the first and second are different in their data types. When coming to the third function, we could see that there are three data variables of the integer data type and the first and the third one is different with the number of arguments. So while going for function overloading, the one main thing we want to consider is either the number of arguments should be different or the data type of the arguments should be different. This example explains well about how functions are overloaded. So in the first two lines we have included the header files and the next four lines are the four different function prototype declarations but with the same function name called sum. So in the first prototype declaration we are having two integer data types. In the second prototype declaration we are having three integer data types and in the third prototype declaration we are having one integer and one float and in the fourth one we are having two float data types. So here we could see in this four prototype declarations either the number of arguments is different or the data type of the arguments is different. So in the main function we have declared some local variables a, b, c, m and n and then we are calling the functions sum by using the arguments, by using the formal parameters a, b, c, m and n. When the first function, this function sum of a, comma c is called, then the compiler will first check for all the function definitions with the name sum and the number of parameters. Here the number of parameters is 2, so it will check the number of parameters in the function definition and it will also check for the data types of the members. So here a and c are integer data types. So it will check for a function definition that has two data types, integer data types variables as actual arguments. So now the control will be transferred here to the first function definition and these two variables are added and the value is written. So in the same way, all the four functions will get executed when it is called. The appropriate function will be called by the compiler and the results will be displayed. Now let us see how the results will be displayed. So here when sum of a comma c is called, so the functions, the first function definition will be called and the return value will be adding the two integer values. So the now the result will be uh, a is 10 and b is 30 and so the result now here it will come it as 40. So when we come to the next function definition, here we are passing three variables a, b, c, both all the three variables are integer variables. So 10, 20 and 30 are passed to the this function definition x, y, z. So we are adding it will be added 10, 20 plus 30. So the result will be as 60 will be coming. So when coming to the third uh, function calling here one variable is integer variable and another variable is a float variable so a is 10 and m is 5.5 so appropriate function will be called by the compiler so the function definition here the control will be transferred to this float sum of int x and float y so these two values will be get 
summed and the result will be written back. So now the result here will be 10 plus 5.5, it will be 15.5. So when we come to the next function, here both the variables pass are the float values 5.5 plus 6.3 so the last the function definition will be called and the result will be displayed as 11.8 it is 5.5 plus 6.3 so it will come as 11.8 now let us compile and see how it is coming so i am compiling so the result is success i am trying to run this program so now you could see the result so this is a good example for function overloading